eight ties and three lead changes in the first set. Loyola closes on a huge run as they win the opening set 25-20. Here are the numbers. The Ramblers hitting at 50%, a solid percentage. 14 kills, three errors, 22 attempts. BYU at just 130. Eight kills, five errors, and 23 total attempts. Ramblers did a solid job defensively. You see with eight digs as opposed to just two for the visitors. BYU with two and a half blocks. But it was Mike Bunting's use of the blockers that enabled the Ramblers to close out the first set. One ace for the Ramblers, six errors. BYU with three aces and five errors. Running down the leaderboard. Blocks for BYU. Futi Tivana with a pair. He's the only player to have recorded more than one in the match so far. The only Rambler block belonging to Joe Smallzer. It was a solo block. Mike Hutz. Dinas Brzezins with a pair of digs each. Amazingly enough, folks, the crowd continues to file in here at Alumni Gym with a first set in the books. Mike Bunting with seven first set kills. Eric Daligi with four. Rob Stoll with four for BYU. They went to Tivana twice in a row looking for that second option and never really found it outside of Stoll. You can see who was targeted. Dupron, five attempts for BYU after Stoll. Ramblers pretty balanced. Bunting with seven, Smalls are four, Deligi four, Berzins four. It's tough to stop a lot of times when you don't necessarily know where that ball's going to be coming from. BYU will have the serve here in the second set. The teams have switched sides. And Jim Cazella just examining the lineups for each squad here. Joe Kaliakamoa out of Las Vegas, Nevada. He will open on serve for BYU with the student section right behind him. I would not want to be in that position currently. Kali Akamoa opens with the attempt, attacking at Becker. And the Ramblers make quick work of it. Eric Deligi. Deligi with four kills on four attempts in the first set. Pretty good percentage. Back looking at Mike Hutz, Mike Bunting, and Eric Deligi. All were perfect in attack attempts. And an ace for the Ramblers who hold a 2-0 advantage here in the second. Joe Smalzer's turn on serve with a left hand, just missed the corner. Side out percentage in the first set. Loyola at 69%, BYU at 56. And the Cougars with an ace right into our cameras here at Alumni Gym. Mike Hutz, the redshirt senior, congregating his troops. And the serve attempt cycles wide. The Ramblers back in front at 3-2. Mike Bunting serving into the net. The seventh serving error of the contest for Loyola. And will not the score at three. And a serving error for BYU. Souza into the net. Deligi serving short. Huge attempt from Kevin Sagers to not the score. Well, folks, one thing should be noted. 
BYU has played 40 sets this year. Taylor Sander, second to Rob Stoll this season with 129 kills. He did not appear in the first. He's one of only two players to have played in every set this season. Thompson guides it over. He's not on the floor here in the second either. Becker did his best to keep it off the hardwood, but it drops in. And BYU takes the lead at 5-4. Very vocal crowd. Then again, that's one of the other great things about Alumni Gym. The sound in here is phenomenal. Stoll serving. Hutz leading Berzins. Even at five. Mike Hutz taking his time. Dancing ahead into the middle of the back row. BYU bluffs it. And Kevin Sagers made sure he didn't miss. Sagers with only one kill in the first set of play. Has three here in the second. Loyola's out of position. Becker did his best. BYU has been continually forcing Becker to go to his knees trying to handle the serves here in the second set. Sagers off of Becker. An ace and a timeout Loyola. 8-5 BYU, three straight points for the Cougars. This is the Horizon League Network. In Chicago on this Friday night, Horizon League Network men's volleyball action. BYU, number two in the nation, visiting Loyola University Chicago. Coming right at me as Smallzer does his best to steer it ahead. Becker, that will come at me. A 9-5 advantage for BYU. And they have the momentum right now, already having forced Loyola to take a timeout. Hutz with a back set towards Bunting. And the Ramblers snap the spell. Well, we talked about the hitting percentage for BYU in the first set at just 130. Well, here in the second, they are perfect. Four for four. Loyola's percentage has actually improved. 667. But clearly, BYU has started to record their feet underneath them tonight. 10-6 the edge. Futi Tivana. Waltzing ahead, and he's a little too long. Ramblers are in the home whites. BYU in the blue here on the Horizon League Network. Steve Thompson, long as well. The ninth serving error of the match for Loyola. Into the crowd. DePron did his best. DePron actually climbed into the front row of seats to try to keep it alive. Eleven eight. Smalls are serving. BYU recovers. DePron attacks. Stepping up is bunting. DePron will try again. Coming at me. Well, I mentioned that the trumpets and trombones are going to be in the fun, and along with the crowd, I guess that includes broadcasters as well here on the Horizon League Network. Where to go? There it is. They found it. 
And I'm also looked to be a ball shagger, apparently. It's the second time they've asked me where a ball's gone around me. I lost sight of it when I ducked out of the way. Sorry. I had this conversation with someone recently how it's so weird that I'm a baseball person, so I work in baseball, and I can see these baseballs that come at me at 90-something miles an hour. What a block for the Ramblers in the middle. Dinas Perzins and Eric Deligi. And yet, when it comes to other sports, since I'm not used to being around it as much, I'm automatically ducking out of the way. Volleyball, you would think, should be an easy thing for me to duck out of the way of. How about an ace? Maybe a timeout coming for Rob Nielsen. There it is. 12-11 BYU on top, but the Ramblers have started to turn the momentum in the second. Up a set on the Horizon League Network. Twelve eleven BYU on top in the second set here on the Horizon League Network. Back to live action out of the timeout for the Cougars. And Kevin Sagers with his fifth kill of the contest. Rob Stoll has been silent here in the second, does not have a kill. But Kevin Sagers has stepped up in his place. That was his fourth kill of this set. Hutz with a back set. And it'll be spun in by Bunting. BYU continuing to lead at 13 to 12. Their head coach, Rob Nielsen, the interim head coach, pacing up and down the sidelines here at Alumni Gym. Short attempt from Futi Tavana. I don't know if he was ready for it. The Ramblers were ready for that, though. Burzins. And we are tied again. That is the fifth tie of the set. And the 13th tie of the match. BYU bringing out a towel to the floor here at Alumni Gym. They are 9-2. and two. Loyola 5-3. and three. Ramblers have lost three of their last four. In there, two nationally ranked opponents, two top ten opponents, in fact, Penn State and Stanford. Loyola retakes the lead at 14-13. Ramblers opening up a three-game home sequence tonight. BYU this evening, Grand Canyon tomorrow night, Grand Canyon again on Monday. Valentine's Day. Deligi with a short serve. And it's put home by Tivana. Deadlocked at 14. Rob Stoll on serve and into the net. Loyola leading again. Hutz tossing towards the net, off the net and down. The friendly roll for the Ramblers. 16-14. Hutz again. Angling left. Diving attempt, he'll do his best, but won't get there. Ramblers 4-3 and three this year when winning the first set. Three of their four, or three of their losses have come, all of their losses have come when winning the first set. They won the first set last Saturday against Stanford here at home. Sagers looking to even the score. Bunting from the back row. To the right side, and it's blocked. Schmalzer and Thompson for Loyola.
17-15 or Ambler Edge. Berzins serving. Stole off the net. Becker kept it alive. Guided over by Bunting. And put home by Dupron. Enough of this, he says. Ryan Boyce with his first appearance of the second set. He was only in for a point of the first. And now the chance will begin back and forth. Thompson with a chant of his own. Peter Jositis replacing Thompson with the serving honors. Short attack, and it hit the floor. Jositis did his best, but the linesman ruling it was on the floor first. Ali Akamoa the serve. Becker up towards Schmalzer. And it is a 19-17 lead for Loyola. Looking to go up two to none on the number two team in the nation. And an ace right down Broadway. Sends the student section dancing. Smallzer will try again. BYU's out of position. And a block! Oh, baby, Mike Bunting fires up the faithful. And a timeout for the visitors. Loyola four points away from going up two sets to none on the number two team of the nation. This is the Horizon League Network. We also treat the human spirit. Stack to the rafters. Here on the Horizon League Network with Loyola leading 21-17 over second-ranked BYU. Fans calling for a double hit. Mike Bunting says, I'll take this double hit. 22-17. Long serving run for Joe Smallzer. And the BYU coaching staff with some objectives. Smallzer again, long. And a side out to BYU. Loyola hitting at 750 here in the second. They do not have an error on 12 attempts. Becker up to the front row for Bunting. Got the corner, it was tipped anyhow. 23-18. Bunting serving. And it's put down in the middle by Octavio Souza. Jeff Robinson with his first appearance of the night. 23-19 the count. Back set to Bunting and the Ramblers have a set point. Matt Myrick, sophomore out of Manhattan Beach, California. Looking to put the Ramblers up two sets to none at home. 
Hits the linesman. He's out. Stoll hit the linesman. The, the linesman said it was out. But they'll instead award the point to BYU. The linesman signaled it was out. Shane Davis. Initially was thinking about a timeout, didn't take it. The referee was about to grant it to him in front of us. It's 24-20. Stoll again, kept off the floor. Bunting wins it. By the same score that Loyola captured the first, they take the second. 25-20, BYU is flustered on the road. Several of their players looking towards Justin Basofsky in the chair. Loyola up two sets to none at home on the number two team in the nation. They'll look to close out a home victory in moments on the Horizon League Network. <laughs> 